This video will be the third example of Mayan subtraction, so Mayan subtraction, we'll say example 3. I'm not going to do any more after this one unless people ask for them. Well, the first thing we need to do is get a couple numbers, so let's say we have a dot up top, we'll have two shells in a row, couple more dots and some lines. And what do we want to subtract from that? Let's say we want to subtract... We can have nothing up top because we have to have the bigger number. We are going to go into negative numbers. Let's see. Let's say we want to subtract those two numbers. Well, the first thing we do is we will start at the bottom rung and on the bottom rung of each of these let's see we have two dots and two lines here and then we have two dots here so that will make us end up with just two lines so that's taken care of and that's taken care of I'll scribble those out completely because we don't need them next we have shells and we need to actually subtract numbers from them so this is where it gets kind of annoying We'll take this dot and we'll change it into four lines. One, two, three, four. Well, one of these lines needs to be moved. We need to move something down here because we still have this empty shell. So let's rewrite this as what it is so far. Or, whoops, just need one of those lines for subtraction. We'll have these two dots and these two lines here. These two dots and that line there. And the bottom is empty, so we'll have a shell. Alright. So we still need to move the... Uh... That's a horrible looking arrow. We still need to move one of these lines down here, so we have something to subtract that from. So let's take out one of these lines, and we'll make it into four, yeah, four dots up top, and we'll put a single dot on the bottom. So let's say we have three lines. That fourth line changed into four dots. And then down below, that would change into four lines. Leave some space, we have two more lines there. And from all that, we are subtracting all the orange stuff, which has stayed the same so far. So as you can see, we're almost done. Our final answer, let's see, on this bottom row, we have essentially 10 dots and we're subtracting no dots from it so we'll have essentially 10 dots in the bottom right here this is essentially the same thing as 20 dots and we're subtracting 7 dots 20 minus 7 is 13 so we still need 13 dots or it's equivalent which is 2 lines and 3 dots and for this third row right here we have four dots and three lines. We need to take away two dots and two lines, which leaves us with two dots and one line. So two dots and a line. And that is our final answer. 